Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Welcome back to Hero's Journey. Last episode, we were knocking on the door to the final boss. However, from our past experiences, we know that that boss is immune to bleed. I looked into it a little bit more, and in fact, the final boss is immune to status effects. I don't know if you've been paying attention to our playthrough, but the entire thing that we do is status effects. So the final boss may actually be one of the hardest challenges that Hero will ever go up against. But Hero is here to make this game look easy. So to do that, we're gonna need a new tool. And first things first, this isn't it, keep going. Now I've never actually been over here. This is the western side of the water. Man, I'm gonna have to take Holly and friends over here. This looks gnarly. In fact, I didn't even know that there was a poison section of this lake. <laughs> and then every time I put hours into this game and I feel like I have a grasp of what's going on, it still manages to surprise me. And that's kind of what today's video is about, really. This area on the map way up at the northwest I started looking into, well, how do you get there? I've never been there. In between episodes, I was jumping down, trying to find a way to like reach that area. It's just a massive drop. Turns out there's a huge secret that I didn't know about this entire time. And today we're gonna try to uncover it together. Wow. There's a grace over here and everything. We're actually underneath Ranny's rise. That's so bizarre. Like we explored the top part of that entire area last playthrough. I had no idea there was also an area underneath it. Now, somewhere up here, that's not him. Hey, I see him. He's at the end. There's a guy stuck in a jar. If we let him out. Please, no, dear me. <laughs> I haven't a clue. No <laughs> secrets lie with me, not a one. Please leave me be. I'm happy to, bud. How'd you get stuck in there? Why is your mouth open so wide? Wait then. You're not one of them. One of who? Well, what a relief. <laughs> Could you not oh, cough directly towards me? me? I am Alva's. An Albinoric, as you can see. Oh, uh, clearly. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers hands. I will, my friend. I will. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. Bro, every time, every time, I think I have a good idea of the world story. What's going on here? Why is it made out of poison? Did these guys hang themselves? <laughs> so much more to explore. Anyway, that's one half of the medallion. The other half is located up at a fort that I've always wanted to explore in the frozen north. There it is. On the northwestern side of what we can see here in the zone, there is a massive fort. Last playthrough, I said I was going to explore it, and then I just forgot. As far as I know, no one called me out on that. Maybe you did, and I just didn't read it. But we're going to make up for that today. In order to get down there, this path I'm following to the west does eventually descend Oh, yeah, that is alarming. That is scary. Whoa. Jeez. I think it's right here. Uh, oh, no. Oh, bad time. Bad time to lose the horse. Keep moving. Keep moving. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Yeah, we can walk right off here. I do hear a big gong on the other side. Oh god, and it's a lightning field? Of course it is. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Man, look at that moon up there. Go. 
Yeah, this is looking pretty incredible. This game is looking pretty incredible. By the way, when the game first came out, it was running like crap on my machine. They did some performance updates since then. We're running on max settings now, boys. I mean, we're only getting fucking 45 FPS here, but usually it's totally fine. I actually think the Seamless Co-op mod runs better than this game, even when I'm playing solo. All right, this is Castle Soul. We can summon in the Bloodhound, so I will. Uh, we have one of these rabid panthers guarding the front, so this place is going to be no joke. Let's see how it feels about Rivers of Blood. Kind of resistant, actually. It didn't bleed out right away, which is exactly what I was expecting it to do. Uh, am I hearing another one? All right, Deb, uh, we're gonna have to get creative here. Uh, I'm going to do a jump cast of this. Get our rot down on the ground. Oh, one of these was actually weak already. Oh God, oh God, oh no. All right, rot did take hold on one. We'll try to get rot on the other. Through the floorboards? <laughs> Wait, did he just glitch through the floorboards for a second or was I looking at Deb? I'm not sure. Well, either way, his time is numbered. He will die soon. Unfortunately, I don't have any more mana flasks for myself. But hey, I'm sure Deb will figure out the rest of that no problem. We probably should start looking into... If we're going to explore some more. Which is kind of looking like we are. I want to see if these guys respawn, because they gave somber smithing stones, which makes me think that they're not going to. But I might be a little off basis here and have to kill those guys again. Uh, if we wanted to explore the game more, which there is more to see, they do not respawn. <laughs> Picking up that talisman that gives us mana back whenever we kill an enemy could make it so we could just spam, spam out rivers of blood like fucking everywhere now i know one of the first comments i read on this series was super excited to see the arcane build pally i hope you don't just use riv rivers of blood and spam it everywhere and i was like no i have so many great plans and so many aspirations but here we are with the weapon quite frankly it's just one of the best in the game and I like to think that I'm still sticking to my guns of going in for status effects. The fact that it scales so well with Arcane means we are applying bleed with it much easier. And we're still applying poison with our other blade, although it might be at a slower pace than what we were doing before. Um, I do not know where I'm going in here. We're just going, going to explore this. First time, first time here. Looks like there's some pretty grand buildings. It might be a pretty big layout. They wouldn't have me climb up a ladder for nothing, right? Oh, no. Looks like we can move around the battle mats here a little bit. We are missing a tiny smidgen of health. Wait. That's that's one of... Oh, God. Oh, God. Aren't you guys the keepers of the Great Dong? Ow, what the fuck? Oh, good. Oh, maybe I should have killed that first before coming in here. Live, live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I kind of feel like maybe they're always in here, though. That's that's a lot of damage. I mean, would they, why would they have these guns here? No, he's literally a ghost. It's literally because of that. You are fucking me. I don't see any skulls on this. Are they on the legs? I mean, I guess we could go outside and take that thing down, but... Ooh, ladder, big drop on that ladder. Where does it go? Also, what item do we have here? A smithing stone six. All right, I'm intrigued at the very least. As we descend, we find a painting. Nice, a sorcerer painting. Those are little puzzles that you can find around the world. If you find the spot where the picture is taken, you can then get something cool. We did one early on with a, for a, a, for a uh, Reign of Arrows spell, but then ended up not really using the spell at all. Oh God, it's a bird. That's the strongest bird I've ever seen. Snowbirds are officially the strongest birds in the game that we know of. 
Well, I feel like we're making good progress. Looks like we see the light of a grace up ahead and more guardians of the great dong zooming in in front of us. So many, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this, this, the, it can't be in here, it can't be in here. I literally can't rest. Holy shit, we gotta draw them out, we gotta draw them out. As long as they give me a little bit of room, I should be able to move in there. Also, what item are you guys keeping back here? The Eclipse Chotel. I believe that's a curved blade. Oh, of course. Oh yes, of course. Yes, this door doesn't open. Why would it? Why would this door open that leads to the bonfire? No, that door was there so you could get body blocked by a guy and fucking slain. All right, big guy. You gotta go. Just on your legs. Okay, all I have to do is go around and break all these skulls on his feet. And I mean, that's it. There's really nothing to it. And if it makes the inside area easier for us doing it, then I think it's time well spent. There you go. It's not that big of a deal. Ah! <laughs> go to sleep. You're fine. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's gonna stay right there and I'm gonna fast travel back into the church in the middle. With any luck, we won't have any of those ghosts being summoned in and we can push through the rest of this. Oh, I just heard him. Well, there goes that theory. Looks like we don't have luck on our side today, boys. I don't know, I thought it was a pretty solid theory. Main path appears to be that walkway there, but I'm gonna check this ladder and see where it goes. Looks like we're overseeing a courtyard here. Oh, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Earlier tonight, when I was looking for an alternative to uh, getting down to the low ground before I knew about the gate, I actually came here, jumped off the top cliff and landed on this roof, I think. That roof right there. It was a perfect landing. I landed on the board, but unfortunately, it seemed like it was just an automatic death. Like, I, I don't think it was enough fall damage, but the game killed me. And you, oh God. Oh God. Oh, that is fucking terrifying. What the fuck? Ugh. Grab, grab the item. Whatever. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Not dead. <laughs> All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's not take any scary ladders this time. Instead, we're going to go straight across into whatever this room has to offer for us. Are these bats hanging? No, these are actually... Oh, they're alarms. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, boss fog. Will it take me away from what's chasing me? If so, I'm in. Hold on. That's an elevator. Where does that go? Hold on, don't you fucking step on this elevator. You stay back. I'll cast this shit all day. You stay. Oh, God. That's so not fair. <laughs> that is so unfair. Wait, where does this. Does this lead back to the main entrance? Oh. If it does, that means I have a tele. Or. Not a teleporter. Yeah, we already explored this. I have a shortcut back to that without enemies jumping out at me from nowhere. That seems good. That seems good. I'm going to sit down out front. And there's a whole nother walkway that goes over there and that looks like a real guard over there. That doesn't look like an illusion. Bro, this place is actually massive. I hope the boss is a little more manageable than most of the enemies. Let me send this back down. These guys are literally ripping and tearing through me. And bro, I have 58 vigor right now. Hey, Commander Nile. Good to meet you. Oh, you some, you are summoning in the ads. I should have known. I should have known. 
Well, let's cast Golden Val. Flame, grant me strength. And I think a little rot is in order. Oh, he didn't like that. Not one bit. Interrupting us right at the door. Sending me hurtling back. Let's get a little mana. Oh, that's a big charge. Holy shit. Uh, Deb doesn't seem to be doing that good, but did take down one of the ads, it seems. I'm going for another cast of the rot. It did take this time. The rot is in place. I imagine most of the guys here are going to be pretty resistant. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> pretty resistant to cold, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, bleeds seem to be doing pretty good. This ad is still pretty healthy. Let me try to heal up, roll back, and then hit him with nothing. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! All right, this time we're going to Physic and Golden Vow before entering. Once we pass through the door, we will summon in Deb the Bloodhound and immediately run forward and cast the rock. I think he's in range. Uh, uh may maybe? Maybe he's not taking damage over time. I cannot confirm that was me, so let's drink and try again. Get Deb in between us. Here's the cast. That definitely hit. And the rot has taken hold. Gotta run from that. Gotta run really fucking far from that. That's so terrifying. Okay, we still have the damage buff, so let's do Flame Grant Me Strength. Start to roll away from this combatant here, and then fucking annihilate him. Next one. Jeez, he's quick. He's quick. He's a quick one. I think we just lost Deb. Is he gonna charge at me? Holy shit, bro. I don't have any more mana to do any more rivers or blood. That looks bad. Jesus, dude, come on. What is happening? Huge attack from this dude. His uh, weapon swings are pretty telegraphed. He also seems to be doing frost build up against me. Wait a minute, was that a lightning kick? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Can I get that spell? Is that a thing? <laughs> that looks so fun. Unfortunately for him, the lightning kick while cool proved to not be as effective as good old flashing katanas. And a little bit of dragon rot. I'm talking a lot of shit for someone who hasn't killed the boss yet, but there we go. Oh my god. Is Prothes... Is Pro Wait a minute. Can you actually use... <gasps> it's considered a fist weapon. No shit. Requires 15 decks in order to be able to use it. I wonder if it lets you do the lightning kick. It would actually be so cool to have two of those. What was that movie with the girl who had fucking swords for legs? Kingsman. Holy shit. That would be so cool. I'm so glad I came here. It literally just gave me so ideas. So, so many, so many ideas. All right, let's put that away. I think it's just sitting in a chest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know for sure. Let me go back. We're going to sit down really fast. Uh, we do have 110,000 souls on us. I'm actually not sure if that's enough for a level up. It's going to be close, though. <gasps> We're 300 over. Yeah, I told you it was going to be close, dude. I told you it was going to be close. Yeah, it looks like this might be the final tower. I bet whatever's in here is worth protecting. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the most guarded place here that's given me a lot of good signals. At the top of the elevator, nothing so far. Looks like this pathway does continue. There's a ghost at the end with an item next to them. The secret medallion number two. Lord Mikula, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now. 
Your divine hail tree. Is he looking in the right direction, I wonder? <laughs> no, not quite. No, not quite. Okay, so, great news. Now that we have both halves of the medallion, what we do is head back to the Grand Lift of Rold. This is the original gate that we took up after defeating Margit or Margot. I never remember which one. Uh, the one that was in the royal capital. We talked to our maiden after that, and she gave us the medallion to use this lift to carry on our story. However, with this new medallion that we put together, if we move right here, switch action, and then hoist the secret medallion. Never done this before. We arrive at a new location. It seems like this still went up. I actually thought this was gonna go down. Perhaps it just didn't go up enough to reach the top point. But this should be an entirely new area to me. Hidden path to the hail, the, uh, the Halig tree. There's a statue there, which is kind of concerning, but maybe that's just in case you manage to die somehow, they want to give you a checkpoint. I can't imagine they would throw a boss right in front of you at the beginning here, but holy crap, this place also doesn't look like I imagined. Uh, vulgar militia guarding the bridge here. Let's turn our torch on so we can see a little bit better. I wonder if we go left or continue forward to actually get out of here. I'm about to be jumped on. I can feel it in my bones. A warming go- Oh, I didn't think that was about to jump on me! Come on, let me out. Come on, thank you. <laughs> I think it's stuck in there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be... We're, we're gonna show mercy. I'm not gonna kill that thing and its family right now. However, this Volga militia moving towards us, we're gonna cut him down to size very quickly. Is this a drop down? Doesn't look like it, just a break in the guardrail. I love the look of these candles up here. <laughs> All right, jump scare me once with an octopus. Shame on you. Jump scare me twice with an octopus. Never gonna jump scare me again. The consecrated snowfield. Hey, look at that. We have a path to follow on the map, which is good because I can't see anything with my eyes. Who's dead here? Rimmed Roa. Bro, it is foggy. Holy crap. Are we on the road? I literally can't even tell. Uh, I'll keep running north. Uh, I hope this clear. Wow, there's a grace already. What? Oh, I hate this. Oh, what the fuck is that? Come on. Come on. This has got to clear out. Come on. You got to let me see something. Oh. Am I running off a cliff? I am a little off the path. We need to we need to get back on that. It does seem like this is descending. Wait, no, we're good. It's not that far. Are we back on path? It's a little to our right. Okay, we are starting to see where we actually get a map here, which is gonna be super helpful. If I can get at least a little lay of the land, we might be able to do something with that. 
Oh, finally, the fog's breaking. Oh my god, finally. That was so gnarly. It's weird because the road that's marked on the map doesn't seem to actually be real. Just kind of guiding you in a general direction. Is this the old Erd tree? Nice. Oh, that's so cool. This place is bigger than I thought. Looks like... Okay, so this is what I see so far. It looks like there's a tunnel. Uh, some kind of ruin over here. Some kind of... Maybe a fort of some kind over there. And this might be a church, actually. We should probably go visit that one. I'm, I'm gonna head up there. Oh, the people here are riding wolves and have wolf companions. Oh, that's kind of spooky. How cool would it be to have a Beastmaster class in this game? You could tame a pet and go through the game with it. Oh, that's a good idea for a mod if anyone wants to take that. You don't even have to give me credit. I would just be happy if it was made. Looks like there's a big gong out in this direction too. I, th Ooh, I think we saw that off in the distance when we, oh, oh. In a golden seed, oh. I definitely never got that one during our original playthrough. I wonder if I can upgrade my flask more than I thought I could. Oh, that looks really bad. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Not like this. Please stop. Please stop. I'm not here for you. Oh, God. All right, you got to settle down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Come on. Did we get him? There you go, bud. There's nothing wrong. Ah! Nothing wrong, okay? Go to sleep. This does look like an old church. Nice. Whoa, you're big. Hey. Wow, huh? Silver mirror shield, huh? Is that an actual shield? Uh, s shield of radiant silver, festooned with amber and carried by Loretta. Knight of the... Oh. Is that who I was supposed to bring the medallion to? The shape is said to imitate that of a scarred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an albanuraric. Huh. Well, the more you know, the more you know. Turns out that guy ha had false hope in her, maybe? Expected her to be something that she wasn't? I'm not sure. Let's sit down. What we're searching for is actually on the other side of this river. We are here to slay yet another dragon. Oh, dismounted. That's not a good sign. Hello? The golden bow. The tarnished eater. Hey, you gonna come eat me? <laughs> Nice weapon you have, Mildred. Let's see how this goes for you. All right. Thanks. That's really impressive. We're all, we're all very impressed. Whoa, she has an ancient smithing stone? What? All right, I'm gonna go get my mana back. <laughs> I feel like she has an item that's a little out of her weight class. What was that about? Why is this glowing? Why is this spot on the ground glowing? Bro, that's super suspicious. What is this? Looks like there's more that way. I wonder if that's trying to lead me to something. Well, where I'm going is the base of a gigantic frozen waterfall, from what I can tell. I'm not sure if we're going into a cave here or not. 
or if what I'm looking for is going to meet us outside. But it looks like some a crab family has moved in. Nothing against you, crabs. Please keep going on with your lives. I want to disturb it as little as possible. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, yeah. It's looking like a beastly cave over there. Man, the reveal of the... Oh, it's over. That's it. Great Worm Theodrix. I don't know if I said his name right. I am now too scared, and I'm going to run this way. I'm going to jump up and use our rot breath. Uh, one shot? <laughs> one shot with 59 vigor? What? Okay, in position. I don't think I pulled anything. Here we go. We're going to physic for this. Big dragon breath to start things off. Huge dragon breath. That got the rod set in place. Now we're going to summon in our companion. And I'm also going to try to buff. Try to double buff here. Uh, we are consuming mana now. So let's go ahead and replenish that. Whoa, I got dragged by the wing there. I need to back up. This is not safe. This is not safe. Ooh, I'm pretty sketched out. I got to be honest. I'm pretty sketched. Oh, I can't really move. And he's hitting me with a fucking magma. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, theoretically, this is just like every other magma worm that we've gone up against where we applied the rot and that's kind of all we need to do. <laughs> We just got to run them out from here on out. Do I have another mana potion? I think I do. So we could try to bleed them on the back in the meantime. There's a good bleed. Falling back, falling back. Oh, big hit. Big hit, big hit. Oh, big move. We're okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. Try to get some damage here on the back. We're just going to have to swing out of mana at the moment. I feel really good about our positioning at the moment, actually. Most of his aggression seems to be in front of us for the time being. I think that's changing now. Yes, big slam forward. We dodge it at the perfect frame. Uh, Rot faded. We got to get it back. Oh, God. Please. That didn't stick. That didn't stick. Big move, big move, big move. Go, 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 go. Okay, we are out of mana. We are not out of healing. Let's pull the weapon back out. If I can bring him back to this cliff, that would be so... God, he is literally right behind me. What the fuck? So quick. All right, let's get in there. Hit the back legs. Move over here, hit these legs. This is good. Oh, it was good until it wasn't. Big heal. Oh, God. I have two more heals in a dream. No poison applied right now. This would be a great time to use a bow if I actually had it equipped. Good damage. Great damage. I don't really like my camera angle, but other than that massive AOE that I don't think should have hit me, that was going pretty good. That's our last heal. I'm getting under boss. I gotta stay here. He won't do it again. He won't do it again. Whoo! Foul foot. Great enemy. That should be worth a lot. Yes, 200,000. And another dragon heart in the bank. Actually, three dragon hearts there. That guy was worth a lot. So, let me show you what all this work was for. Let me show you what all of this effort was for. We are heading to the Church of Dragon Communion in Caleb. At the church, we can walk up to the altar and receive... Theodorix's magma.
that allows us to spew fire breath from above, meaning we can do aerial attacks with it. I tried to do one versus him because we have the same setup for our freeze one. We have the same setup for our rot one. Oh, we're going to have to uh, figure out our spell slots here. We might need to get another spell slot, actually. I know the perfect place to do that. We can do that real fast. So uh, let's make a friend. Our friend is going to be this guy here. Hello, friend. Please come with me. Oh, God, we do really good damage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I was hoping for more of a theatrical show, but I guess you'll get the point. So if I can get up high, we can actually get out of his attack range, right? So up here, he cannot hit me. Now I can jump off this. And if I was a little bit faster on the draw, this is a terrible example. Holy shit. <laughs> everything is going wrong. Everything, everything is terrible. I hate everything. Okay, we're gonna lock on jump and... Wait, this one can only be cast on the ground. 100%, that's a ground only spell. I literally just jumped. It said it only works from above. I, or excuse me, it didn't say it only worked from above. It says that it spews flames out from above. I think that's false advertising. Okay, watch. This is what it should do. This is our ice mist. Wow! Look at us hovering in the air. We're so scary. I just don't think it does that. I would try one more time just to make sure. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I mean, that's fine. It's not like I'm going to be in the air fighting the last bosses. <laughs> that was a pretty big explosion. Let's see how much damage the magma actually does as that guy walks through it. The cool thing about this spell versus the fire one is that the magma is persistent on the ground. So this was just theory crafting. But you know, the last boss is really big and stands still sometimes. I was thinking... Oh, that's pretty good. I was thinking, you know... If we get some magma under his feet, that'll just be some passive damage, and then we don't have to worry about it. Either way, we have 260,000 souls to spend. We went on a grand adventure today, and I am excited to say that we are at the soft cap for vigor. We are done and never need to put another point into that ever again. Instead, if we want to get tankier, the play is going to be to put points into endurance so we can wear even heavier gear and still roll with it. But for today, our sun is setting and our story is over. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and we will be back very soon.